Hello everybody, it's Kathy. Welcome to La Plume Notes. I, this is a continuation of a multi-part series of my Timu haul. I'm trying to cap it around 20 to 30 minutes. So I've been breaking them up into multiple parts. So I did go over these stickers as well as some of these items and a few other ribbons that I bought. But I want to go over now some of the paper and other items that I bought. And then if we have time, I'll try to see if I can go over my other bag of items. <laughs> going to use this for my actual journaling and I do love the fact that they have multiple stamps so obviously with the date starting on different days of the week and I can always wash you tape these other items if I don't want them stamped so this will be great for me to use in my actual bullet journal all right then I got some stencils, and these stencils I wanted to use with um, for my junk journals when I use on craft paper and such. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper where you can see this a little bit more. So I thought these would be perfect to put some type of paste on here and be able to design some of my paper and this comes with a lot of florals I love it so I'm not looking for crazy detail in some of these I don't know how well it will work I'll have to do a try my Timu stuff as another video can see some of these things in it pop out correctly. So cute. So I think I will have more than enough plants and flowers. Stencils. And I do have a few more stencils that I got recently from think Hobby Lobby that were on sale. They're a little bit larger. So definitely can use those. But this will be perfect for normally the size of journals I like to have. This one is really pretty. And I could see myself even drawing flowers on these leaves. So this one is awesome. It comes with I I think this comes with 12 of them. All right. Then I got a bunch of different papers and I like to use mainly vintage or books in general that I thrift as well as vintage books. But I wanted to have some of this paper as a supplement to those uh, just because they're already cut and it'll give me a much broader selection I honestly don't find I don't go to estate sales or anything of that sort so I don't really don't have lots of vintage ledger or anything of that sort so this will be great for that uh, yeah it looks like all of these might be pretty unique Let's see how many uh, pages this is. I don't know. I'm thinking this is well over 500 pages. I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe not. Maybe 200. It seems like a lot. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Very nice. It's 
So I do see a little bit of a few repeats. But not too many. Look at that. I wish I had handwriting like that. That'd be amazing. of this is five and a half by four again this it says 200 I'm not sure if this is 200 but it's definitely well I'll be having a huge stash of this for quite a while all right and then I got the same brand but I picked out another one. Let's see. This one had I think the coloring was a little bit different and not so much ledger necessarily but old paper. This would be great. Oh well, two letters. Because for me, I have, I mean, I have a, a spray of coffee and that I use occasionally here and there to dye a paper, to dye a piece of paper here and there, but I have not done a massive dyeing of paper. And I don't know <laughs> when I'll be doing that at any point, but I love the fact that this is available. And again, this may have just been a few dollars. And this paper is 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 pretty thin, so I feel like it's going to be really good to use in layering. Okay. Then I got this one. So it looks like it comes with five, five of each design. Cute postcard. And okay, let me bring that folder back so you can see these. This is cute. I really love these items that are printed on vellum paper. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to print white ink, but I do want to take a stab at trying to print some designs on some of my acetate as well as some vellum paper I have. And the last design here is the same oh sorry I see what it is so it's the same designs that I showed you earlier on these prints but on vellum paper this is super cute and how cute would it be to create a journal like this look I could do it right I could just create a journal this size right here just fold this over and I have an instant journal that is lovely. I love that. Okay. This is volume three, 
A lot of these vendors will have these type of papers, but different designs on them and you can select from them. So I think I tried to change up different types of vintage looking items so I could see what size I liked as well as the paper consistency instead of sticking and getting too many from uh, one particular vendor. This paper is very nice. Ooh, double-sided. That is great. This is actually super cute. I know this is paper you can use to do some journaling on, but this honestly could be its own little journal. You could definitely, it's already collaged, but if you want to add a little bit more to it, it's not too crazy big. Uh, 40, 40 pages, so that would make it 80 pages. Yeah. This is cool. I like it, the fact that it's double-sided. So this is about the journal size I like. So I could definitely see myself pulling out a few pages from here and then possibly washi, putting washi tape here. And then you have an instant page. I really want to do something with this pink. So there are some old books that I have that I feel like I want to also try to print some flowers on top of like this. Uh, I can definitely see myself using this all up and potentially buying another one of those. So I almost want to go back and look and see what other options were available because this is definitely one of the new volumes and then I got it says 200 sheets of grid paper and obviously I do bullet journaling so I usually use dot grid but I love grid paper as well and I love the fact I love the fact that this the lines are very light on this and the paper so it looks like it maybe it's two it's a hundred maybe it's a hundred sheets and there's two two packs of these okay so that makes it 200 but again i love the craft color but with the grid lines so this will be awesome to add to my stash for papers that I want to add to my junk journal. Just fold it up. There you go. So, yeah, that is my paper stash from my first bag. If you guys have been following me this whole time, you guys know I had a second bag of items and I just randomly split them up into two bags because I, obviously this bag can only fit so much. So when I do a haul, I try to put my stuff in these bags and I have it sorted on my shelf so that I can do the haul with you guys. So let's see what I got in this bag. Let's go over again the tools that I got. Maybe. Tools and hardware. All right. Again, I got another spatula again. I think it's because I got a pink, uh, blue one, saw my other haul, and a pink one. Again, I think I got two because I do want to try one for my craft items as well as one for my makeup 
potions and foundations and stuff like that when I want to get the, the last bit for my bottles. So again, I do have a tiny makeup spatula, but I don't have a spoon one. So I want to see how this would work to for for both of those. So I got a blue one. Oh, here's my one. A blue one and a pink one. How adorable. Cute. Okay. Then I did grab this. I don't know. I think I might start collecting scissors. I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> I think scissors are just so useful. And I love it when they just are kind of unique and different. So I love this because I do have an everyday carry stationary bag. And I do have a scissors from Muji that has a cap on it. But I thought I'd just try something else and see how this works. And see if I like this as well. So shall we shall we cut something with this? Alright, this is paper I used in an er the earlier display. One of the scissors, uh, one of the pen knives that I bought. There you go. Very nice. So I would definitely use this in my bag for when I am just out and about, but I would not use this every day. I don't find this handle to be particularly comfortable. It's, uh, you can feel all the metal, all the metal right here. And it's very thin. So if I had to cut a lot of things, I would definitely not want to use this. But for a scissor that I have available in my bag, that is safe to have in my bag, I think this will be perfect. So they had different sizes. They had a large, medium, small. I opted for the large one. All right, put that back in. All right, so I already showed you guys earlier <laughs> different Pen knife that I got, but I got this one because I've had the, these refills, and I love green at this moment, so I wanted to try this out. Let's see how this one is different than the other ones. Oh, it looks exactly the same. So I got a my other haul video. I got this set of five, and I can't remember the price on this. But um, maybe maybe have been a little bit more, but not much more. And then this comes with one, but it comes with four refills in the blade. Obviously, the blade will get dull after some time. But I did use that to cut this out earlier in my other video. I did it very quickly. But yeah, it, it was very easy to use. I love the fact that it's a pen. This one comes with a cap, which don't really think is necessary especially because when you push this it goes all the way in but extra precaution it's nice and I do love the fact that this comes with refills because if you do like a particular color you wouldn't have to necessarily change it up with these but for me I like multiple colors and again I'll probably will let my daughters pick pick one as well okay Let's see what this big box is. Can't remember a lot of the things I bought. Oh, this looks fun. Let's see. Ooh, yes, this is going to be awesome. So again, I love to make little charms, obviously for our journals, as well as just other things. But my daughters also love to make charms to hang off of their backpacks so the fact that this comes in multiple colors I love it so rose gold this is um, I would say a gold and this is a yellow gold and then silver uh, of a copper color 
I hope you can see it. I mean, I guess I'll take it out of the bag. This is copper, which is great for a vintage look. Then a gunmetal. And matte black. So, yes, I'm excited to have this. And that's definitely comparatively to something I was looking for. Or similarly on Amazon was way cheaper. So this is going to be used to make a lot of fun things. Okay. Let's see what's in here. You like Christmas all over again. Yes, I love this. This is uh paper clips. So let's see, we have a stash of paper grab something from this book so. and there you go it's super cute I love that it just kind of really secures the item and you get five of them in different colors yeah, this would be great for when I have to do actual items, uh, organization, such as my bills or anything like that. Or I just love it. I just love the colors. So that will be great. Okay. Then I got this. So I got this to maybe make uh, cut some note cards and bind them into here yeah, I I'm not sure how you open this I think it's supposed to open this way oh, there we go you have to looks like on the ends they have a little clip here so there you go on both ends Whereas the middle ones are kind of flat. But I got a punch as well. So I do have a cinch, but I think this is a bit smaller. And so this will actually punch it. Let's see. Oh, no. Hmm, I'll have to think through that. <laughs> I guess this is a six hole punch and I got a five ring. So I think I can, I don't know if I can alternate that on this thing. Yeah, it's got this little hole here. Let's see what this does. All right, I pushed it up. Let's see if this makes it a fly punch. No. <laughs> I have no clue what this does. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to figure that out. Or maybe if you guys know. I have no clue all right well i still wanted this punch anyways because i have a, a metal metal disc or what are these things called clamps i don't know what they're called but i have metal metal ones of these that can be cut so i definitely can still use that for so my cinch i think does it um bigger than this wider than this want to try this out okay then I got these cute paper clips how adorable okay let's see if I can open this and again I love having 
a diverse set of options available. So let's see, gold. I would say maybe copper, silver. There's like a more vintage copper, and then there's black. So this is going to be adorable. Again, super. These are the tiniest paper clips I have. So I love that. So I do want to share with you. I already put this away because I used it. But I got these little push pins. So adorable. How adorable is that? And I have already used this inside my glues, my metal. Uh, topper glues and Sarah has a cute little butterfly and I added dangles and stuff I'm adding dangles and stuff to them right now but this is so adorable and I'll probably actually even use this when I'm sewing a few things here and there so and they had different ones like flowers and stuff but of course I had to go with the butterfly so having talked about the rings I think they're rings binder clips I'm not sure I got these and these you can put as many or as little as you want and then you close it out. So yes, you can do as many as you want, as spread out as you want. And plastic fly a little bit bendable so they'll be great when you just want to create something such as using it uh, to obviously connect several pages or even just uh, to maybe um, attach something to a tag so yeah I wanted to get this I thought this would be super fun to play with See how different ways I can use this and this comes with uh, maybe 32 <laughs> assuming that's what that number means so yeah excited to have this in the box is super cute all right and I got this tape I have tons of washi tape and I have tons of just general tape in general so I thought after I used this with these tapes that it would look so cute with my washi tapes. Yeah, so it's so simple, very small, compact. I mean, this could be something that you could definitely carry um, in your bag if you wanted to. Let's see. Let's test it out, see how it works. That's glue tape. I'm not sure what glue tape is. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So let's assume you just put this through here. And oh, there we go. Awesome. Yes, I love this. I may actually see if they, if I can get more colors again. I have a lot of washi tape that I sometimes use during that season or that month that I'm doing certain activities. So let's say I'm gonna do Valentine's projects. I might pull out a lot of my heart washies. Then I can put this on it and it'll be easy to use but I do love this this is so easy and it's so compact so this I like a lot okay and I got this which I'm excited about I don't know why I just 
since I have a lot of little things, I like to organize it. And I love the fact that this, I mean, I have those little normal bags that you might get at to hold your jewelry or at Michael's or something, but this is really thick quality, thick plastic. And this one would actually be great for holding jewelry. Or things like that. these charms in here now that I got rid of them from the bag I got rid of the really thin bag that it came in yes this would be perfect to store this and I, then I can put the like with likes I could put hearts in one I could put these feathers in different ones I could put these uh, there was a few crosses in there so then I can organize them by different themes and so I love this and they had different sizes of this and honestly I can't remember if this is I think this is the smaller size and I think they have one that's a little bit bigger so I may end up getting the bigger one too because these will these bags will last you forever very good quality plastic bags for jewelry and honestly maybe this comes with 50, 50 of them so, again, I, that will be more than enough. All right, we're down to a few more things, and then I'll be done with this Timu haul. And I'm sure I will be doing another one very shortly. All right, I got this lace, which, again, is 18 yards. So this is quite a lot. And again, I think it's, again, a few dollars, nothing too crazy. And I love this color. I bought one from Amazon that had several different types of lace in it. Uh, and it was white. So with white, I obviously can go ahead and color it different or whatever. But I love this uh, beige color. And I think... Oh, I do think this, I didn't realize this. This seems like it comes with different types of lace. No, even better. So the other one came individually uh, rolled in its own laces, but this one comes in a big sheet like this. I will add that to my other lace so that I have both options now. And this one is a little bit better. I think this is actually cotton, whereas the other white lace I have, it feels more like plastic. And this last one. This is going to be so cute to add to my journals. I love this one. I mean, what do I not like here? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go over this washi real quick. So this is... maybe similar to washi looking but it's got a very it's got a high gloss on the back I'm not sure why maybe so that you can write on these and it won't bleed to the paper I'm not sure but wow comes with about to here to here is the unique items and then I think it repeats so this seems like it comes with a lot and once you're done finishing these I mean once you're done finishing using these stickers you could definitely use this roll again to put some other stickers on here so 
this is great. Love that. Okay. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. All right. It looks like it is separated with a sheet of paper between separated between each of the stickers so that is good that way you can kind of cut these if you'd like as individual stickers so yeah there we go It looks like it's got five, four, four unique type of tickets, ticket stubs. Okay, we'll see how this this one I can use. I mean, there's a lot of that, but to only have four unique stickers, I'm not really sure. As well as when you kind of look at a glance at it really quickly, it kind of gives you the same vibe. So we'll see how this one I'm able to use, but I do like it. Okay. I got these ladies. And I'm not really sure how I use people yet into. You know, like I have um the happy planner like wrong wrong girls or wrong wrong ladies. So I do like using them, but I they're obviously a lot more modern. So to use these women, it's going to. take me a bit getting used to but I do have a lot of my vintage books now so I think I definitely will have be able to use these these are cute So it looks like it comes with two of each. I love her. Just this will be fun, fun to use. The only lady sitting down. very long dress all right so those are retro character books fashion ladies it looks like it comes with 40 pieces so i'm assuming 20 unique designs Okay, and then I got these stickers because I love I love windows and doors. <laughs> I don't know why I just I think they're awesome. This would be great on a cover cover page. Ooh, we get three of those. I really need to pull up my silhouette. I could probably do these kind of designs. I love if I just cut this door open and I can have a little secret. Maybe I can have the lady hiding behind there. Ooh, it's like perfect size. That would be cute. Totally gotta do that. Yeah, I love the, the fact that nothing's really in front of these doors. So I definitely can make these doors open. So cute. Comes with three doors. Three, I mean, three of each design. And even this packaging is cute. It's got a little drawing on the packaging. Oh, 
And I got another one. This might have been from the same seller. Santimu. So this seems like a marketplace for different sellers to sell their items. Love the color of this. This reminds me of more of like a stained glass. It'd be cute to do some kind of stained glass work on behind this. These doors are a little bit bigger. See, this is what I mean when you cut it, and then it would seem odd for the door to open because there's these flowers right here, but I could still make it work. Oh, this feels like the secret garden kind of door. Cute. This is really big. This would not fit those little women that I, I think this, this series is a little bit too big for the women, but I could definitely have other things peeking out behind these doors. <laughs> oh, I love these doors. Doors and I guess the first item is more like a window. All right, so we're already way over time, so I'm going to do another video where I go over my last item here, and I'll go over this in a lot more detail. There is, I think, 100 sheets in here. So, yeah, 25 kind of in each quadrant. So I'll go over that in another video. All right, I hope if you guys like these type of videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I would love to have you join my community, and I love sharing my hauls with you i have a very hard time not getting any everything that's craft related and stationary related so you'll definitely see more hauls on my channel all right thank you so much have a great day bye